Alright, now, this is a name that's been forgotten about for quite a while now. He he was, he went down as a one-hit wonder, which I was disappointed in, because I really thought this guy had a lot of potential in him, based off his one song that really went anywhere. But this video is going to be about Eamon. Now, Eamon, yeah, that is a name that's been forgotten about. He he was a one-hit wonder for his song that came out in late 2003, which was called Fuck It, I Don't Want You Back. And this song, Fuck It, I Don't Want You Back, it, it was a pretty popular song that came out at the end of 2003. Now, the song, it was... It was this anti-love song directed to his ex-girlfriend who he said the lyrics were directed to himself. But the song, Fuck It, I Don't Want You Back, it was a popish r and b song, even though it was played on all the hip-hop stations. But Eamon, who was he? Well, he was a native of Staten Island, New York. He was of Italian Irish descent and he started off singing for his dad's band but for his solo career he came out with his his first album well which was called I Don't Want You Back which was the same name off his his one single that well it wasn't really the only single but it was the one single that really made it which was called Fuck It I Don't Want You Back now the song Fuck It I Don't Want You Back, he came out with a song when he was 20 years old and, and like I said it was an R&B pop song that was played on all the hip hop stations and the song it was it was a number one hit and it, it actually ended up making the Guinness Book of World Records for most profanity used in a number one hit song that of course was Fuck What I Said, It Don't Mean Shit Now Fuck the presents, might as well throw them out. Fuck all those kisses, they didn't mean jack. Fuck you, you hoe, I don't want you back. And the rest of the song, it did, it did have some, but it was mostly the, the chorus that where most of the profanity came from for it to actually make the Guinness Book of World Records. But even he did have one more single that was off his album. I Don't Want You Back, it was called I Love Them Hoes, but the song, it was never played on MTV, it was never played on the radio, but that was it for Eamon, I mean, for, to at least have that much success for one song, you'd, you would at least think, like, at least one of his other songs would get promoted to a point when it would at least get played on the radio, but no, nah. after having his one, his first and only hit song he never came out with another one it wasn't really his fault I guess you could say you could blame it on the producers the people who he was around who who helped make him famous but he, after Eamon's album I Don't Want You Back which came out in 2004 even though the this the debut single was released in late 2003 he came out with one album in December of 2006 and that song it, it didn't really go well his career did go downhill but it, that album went absolutely nowhere none of his songs ever were promoted into singles none of his songs were played on the radio and that was it for Eamon his album that came out in December of 2006 was his second and his last album that he ever came out with but man I think that just sucks for Eamon I, I thought he overall was a a talented singer just for off that one song but I don't really know what he has been up to now if he's just working at a bank or if he's producing music for others or if he's a street performer out in New York City who knows nobody really keeps updated with him anymore but Eamon if you're watching this I want to wish you the best of luck and yeah it really sucks that you went down as a one hit wonder and that's all I gotta say folks out. I mean, I'm out and later.